what's up you guys hope you're all having a good day now today's video we're going to be ranking radiohead's discography as always we're going to go in chronological order of their studio albums all nine of them without any further ado let's jump straight into it pablo honey their debut album released in 1993 featuring the single creep now creep is the only hit on the record and i don't think it's necessarily a bad album but i don't think it's that good either um the album kind of just plods along track from track to track and as, as a result of that i've put it in third position we have the bins from the year 1995 the hit song on this uh, record was Fake Plastic Trees. The, the Benz feels like it has more of an edge to it than Pablo Honey does, which I did enjoy. I thought the first bit of the, the first bit of the second half of the album was really strong, but the last few songs were a bit weak. And so that's why it is in second place. Third al album, OK Computer, released in 1997, uh, features the hit songs Paranoid Android and Karma Police. Uh, OK Computer is an album which has a clear theme. It's going for, you know, this sort of futuristic vibe. It does this by having an experimental sound to it, which I really enjoyed. Plus, it has the likes of Paranoid Android and Come A Place, which are probably my fave tracks from the band. And as a result, I think it's their best album. To their fourth album, which was Kid A, released in the year 2000. Um, Kid A really goes for it on the experimental side. Um, it comes across as disjointed, which I think is what they were going for. But I just don't really fuck with it. And so as a result, it's ranked ninth. I think it's I think it's their worst album and I think that that's probably a very controversial take and OK Computer probably their two most like hyped up albums yeah so I think I think I've got an unpopular opinion there but that's okay moving on to the next album Amnesiac from 2001 featuring uh singles such as Pyramid Song and Knives Out Although um, Amnesiac continues on with very similar like ex um, experimentation and like sound wise than Kid A, it feels slightly more cohesive and so I enjoy it just a little bit more than Kid A. I think it's slightly better. So as a result, it's ranked in eighth position. To their sixth album, Hail to the Thief, released in 2003, features the singles There There, Go to Sleep and 2 plus 2 equals 5. Radiohead went with a middle ground here, I think. This is sort of a feature, it's sort of in between um, their earlier stuff, which is more like, more closer to, to like, just being rock, to sort of, you know, Kid A and Amnesiac sort of being very much more um, electronic heavy, I would say. As a result of that I, I i think it's better than their than kid a and amnesiac but i don't think it's as good as their earlier stuff and so it is ranked seventh for me who in rainbow is released in 2007 um it's very similar for me to hail to the thief um so we could very easily switch this and um hail to and thief around but I do feel like this one flowed just a little bit better than Hell to the Thief, and so it's ranked one position higher in my eighth, seventh, sixth position. <laughs> we have their eighth album, The King of the Limbs, released in 2011. I feel like at this point, Radiohead have really settled on a sound. Um, they're very much rock and electronic influ and influences very heavily on, on, on their sound. And the reason why this one's placed here is I think its short length really does it a favour and then it makes it the most easily digestible of those last four albums. And so for me, it's ranked in fourth position. Finally, their ninth and, uh, ninth and so far final album, entitled A Moon Shaped Pool, released in 2016, featuring singles such as Burn the Witch and Daydreaming. Um, still quite similar to their other records, 
but this one has a little bit more of like a folksy influence there, um, which I did enjoy. Um, however, I think Kings of Lim the King of Limbs is the slightly better um, album, sixth possession. Um, yeah, it was it was really interesting, um, you know, going through Radiohead's discography and sort of learning a little bit more um, about the band and that most of the time I'd listen to just sort of their hits, so it was sort of very interesting sort of getting to do it, delve a little bit deeper. And so as a result, I do really enjoy these um, types of videos as it kind of forces me um, to listen to an entire discography of an artist, which is always interesting. So if you liked that, feel free to hit the thumbs up button. Leave down in the comments below what are your rankings of the Radiohead albums. Um, also, if you have any suggestions on uh, what I should do next, uh, if this video hits 20 views, that's the target, 20 views, I will make another um, video. I do have two planned already. Um, the two artists um, up next would be Ed Sheeran and Paramore, as those were the two that were suggested to me. If you haven't already, please subscribe. I make videos whenever I can. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.